Hotep family, Hotep, Hotep. So I'm just messing around a little bit today. Got to mess with the grandkids in a little bit. But uh, this particular video is going to be real short. But I'm going to name this the, the Defending Other People's Religions. And uh, we have got into a big mess where we feel as though we have to defend other people's religions. These people assigned these religions to us. And by doing so, we, a lot of us still have that, that slave that's deep down inside of you that's just spooked out. You know what I mean? Spooked out over that Bible. You know, and some people, you know, they've been studying their religion for so long, it's hard to unplug them. You, you, they're going to defend these religions with all the power that they have, even if they, sometimes they have to, might have to kill you. And it's sad that people have to go to that limit to prove something that was false from the beginning. And a lot of people, the, the problem with, 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 with a lot of us uh, 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 black folks is that we can't accept the fact that the slave masters would lie to our ancestors about God. And that's exactly what they did. They lied to our ancestors about their God and put it into our systems and had them pass it on along from generations to generations. And here we are, stuck on stupid. You cannot identify your bloodline with a fictional book. I had some people talking about, uh, especially people that want to call themselves Muslims, that Abraham is the, is, is the bloodline. Abraham never existed. I don't get that, you know. And, you know, they read so much material because they have other pamphlets and stuff to keep you stuck in this stuff while they're doing something else already. And they just keep adding on to them. Jehovah's Witnesses do the same thing with their comic books. They just keep adding on stuff that, that's a lot of foolishness, you know. And it, it, it keeps people's minds stuck. You know, it keeps them stuck 300 years ago. It doesn't matter to me what happened 10,000 years ago, you know, what them people was doing. They already passed the message around. It was nothing but astrology. That's all. So astrology and sciences and them things I, I do care about, you know, and dates. But, you know, I think, you know, the sun for rising to give us this energy. Without this sun, we wouldn't be here. So I do give thanks for the sun and my ancestors, which are part of that sun, you know. And that's what I do. And, 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 and I've been fine with that. I'm, I'm pretty much saved from hell. I'm saved from heaven. I'm saved from being spooked that something out the sky is rewarding me one minute and punishing me another minute and things ain't going my way. I'm supposed to fall down on my knees and start praying, which is another form of begging, and I'm not doing that. That's, 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 that's ridiculous, you know. If you want something, you have to meditate on it, and you have to apply yourself to it. But the thing is trying to be awakened because a lot of us are still asleep and slavery days. You, you're still walking around here being a slave, still spooked out over uh, fictional people. You know, God did more damage in that Bible. He did a lot of lying too than what Satan's supposed to have did who never existed. Satan is yourself. you your own demon if you want to be a demon. If you want to be lifted, lift yourself up. If you want to stay down, stay down. It's your choice. But nobody's coming to save you. You have to save yourself. In order to save yourself, you have to master your lower self to be able to come up to your higher self. And once you reach this goal of your higher self, you'll be free from a lot of this madness that's going on out here. You'll be able to get away from these people wearing their crosses and You'll be able to get away from Muslims that are talking about Allah, which just means all law. A lot of them don't even look look it up when Allah first he had originated. This is this is from the online online etymology. Let's see if you can see that etymology dictionary, and that has Allah there. But this word first 
came on in 1702. Seven, it says, Allah, 1702, Arabic name for the supreme being. From Arabic, Allahu. Contraction of Al, Allahu. From Al, the plus Elah, God, related to Hebrew, Elohim. You know, it, it, it goes right back to, 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 uh, to the Bible. You know, you can't have Islam without having the Christianity because the Jews created it for them anyway, for, for these so-called people calling themselves Arabs. The first Arabs, if you want to call them Arabs, it's, 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 to me that's just another name that, that they labeling us with. And some people want to say, well, the Arabs was the black people. Okay, well, maybe so then. You know what I mean? But black people have gotten to, we got ourselves into this mess with this, this uh, uh, wanting to be in tribes, tribalization, you know, and that just messed us up. We're the same people, but we have kindly gave ourselves some false names, and other people gave us false names too. Coon, Christian, nigger, Negro, Muslim, any, anything to keep you from saying, well, I'm an African, you know. I'm a people from the light, because that's what we are. When you look up this word black, in a lot of older dictionaries, it says bleached up, pale, without color. These white people is the ones that's calling themselves white, but they really the black people, and we the people of the light. And if you dream at night, or if some people want to call it dreams, you can't see your dreams because your eyes is closed. And oftentimes people will call it deja vu or dream they seen this before it, it's, it's, it's because the light within you went to another dimension that's what happens you know when you want to wake up and you call it a dream your consciousness had already left it went into another dimension you know and uh, sometimes you might say well today is today today is not today today is yesterday this is the end result <laughs> that might be hard to figure it out but Need to start finding out who you are. I often I go downtown and I see these Jehovah Witnesses and they got stands. They defending these people's religion. In 2014, you know they got cartoon pictures, some of them with Jesus, and always wanting to give me a pamphlet. You know, and it's ridiculous. I had a girl told me, you know, I'm from Haiti last week. I'm from Haiti. And you need Jesus. She tried to give me a pamphlet. I said, look, I'm free from that mess. She's going to try to tell me I'm not free. I was born in the world to sin. Not knowing that herself, that sin just means death. That's all it is. And they have it in this, this uh, the Lord's Prayer, forgive us for our debtors as we forgive those who have debt against us and all this old stuff. You know, it's all about debt because the King James Bible, first of all, was made for the court system, for the church. So you got to get hit from that too. But consciously, we need to stop defending these people's religions and just really get rid of the religion so that we can unite. We have to nationalize. And every time we have some type of black nationalism, somebody always got to bring a foolish religion into it. Forget about the religion because these people are getting ready to exterminate us. And you better get hit, you know. And, and we, they, they, they keep us fighting amongst each other over their silly religions and they sit back and just look, look at them clowns. Look at them. Yeah, yeah. We done good. We're going to slave them for, for, for a few more thousand years. We got them going like that. They'll never come to the conclusion that them people wasn't real in the Bible. They, they, it'll, it'll be 8,000 years before they figure it out that they wasn't real. They don't like to read the encyclopedias that we produce. You got the Catholic Encyclopedia, Islamic Encyclopedia. You need to read these things and you'll get a better, better understanding of how these people tricked our ancestors and uh, uh, not convincing them that they were gods, the original people here. You know, and God just meant just simple mean a uh, 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 generator, operator, and destroyer, which is your mother. She's the generator. And when you in her womb, which is Egypt, you're in bondage, she operates with you. And if she chooses to, she can just have an abortion and destroy you. That's God. And she takes you out of Egypt, out of the land 
of Egypt, her womb, out of bondage, and brings you up to the land of milk and honey, which is her breast to feed you. The reason God had to separate the Red Sea, which was nothing actually but an inland lake for Africa, and they tried to say that these were two different countries, Middle East and Africa, but it was the same. That was just an inside lake. But the reason he had to separate that sea because that's the woman's water breaking. Woman water has to break the food that child comes. So keep that in mind about this story. Now I'm giving you the extra story on an elementary level about the extra madness and all the other killing that God had Moses and them doing. There's no such thing as a physical uh, uh, promised land. It's the woman's breast. It's, it's, it's the promised land, you know, which they never, never found it. You know, they went around killing people and taking everybody's stuff. That's what they're doing because we don't have anything. God didn't have anything. He was broke. He had to send them to go take other people's stuff. You know what I mean? Which is uh, ridiculous. And that's what they did to us. They came into Africa and they took our stuff. And they still got it to death. And we, they got us around here thinking that something else created us but our own parents. And when you don't recognize your, your own father and mother, as your God and goddess, that's the tragedy. When you can go into a fairy, a, a, a book called the Bible and say, but this, this created figure, imaginary figure created me. And you're going to go around telling other people that. That's ridiculous. And it's also sad. But keep that in mind. Just to bring something on you, as I always do. You can check me out on some of my other videos on YouTube. Uh, you can look at... Uh, you just probably type in Kevin Collins, the God concept, and the rest of my videos will come up there. But I got a uh, Kevin X TV Able, Kevin X Truth TV. Check me out sometime and have an outstanding day. I'm out, Brother X Hotel.